welcome back. My name is Catherine, and I'm a professional comics creator. And I'm so glad you came back today. We are going to make some monsters today. Now, comics is all about collaboration. It's all about lots of people working together to make something completely unique that they wouldn't have made on their own. So in professional comics, you have a writer who writes the story, an editor who helps make the story better, somebody who draws with a pencil, somebody who draws on top of that pencil with ink, somebody who colors it in, and somebody who writes the text and speech bubbles all over everything. That's a lot of people. But with all of their creativity and talent, they make something that's bigger than the sum of their parts. So today, we are going to collaborate. Last time, we made ourselves. Uh, we introduced ourselves, and maybe we thought about our superpowers. Well, we need somebody to fight against, right? We need a monster. So let's make monsters together. Step one, take your piece of paper, and we're going to fold it into three parts like you would a letter. So maybe the teacher can help, but I like to fold up and then fold again. Three equal parts. Great. So in this top part, I want you to draw a head, whatever kind of head you want. In this example, I decided to draw a cat. You could draw a happy head, you could draw a bus driver, you could draw a coffee cup, whatever kind of head you think would be interesting. Um, I'm gonna draw a coffee cup because coffee is extremely important to me. Done. So, next, I want you to fold this head under so that it's a secret, okay? It's a secret. Now, take your paper and pass it to your left to the person sitting next to you. You're gonna get a fresh piece of paper. Don't peek, thank you. And in the next section, you're going to draw some arms and a body. Whatever kind of arms and body you want. On this one, I've decided to draw an octopus. You could draw a completely muscly person. You could draw a cat's uh, arms. You could draw a teddy bear arm whatever you want to. Teddy bear arm, that sounded pretty cool. So just the arms and the body, basically down to what would be the hips. Some fuzz and some bear paws. Done, okay. Next, fold the body down again and don't peek, and pass it to your left. You're gonna get a fresh drawing as well. Now on your bottom section, legs, hips and legs. Again, whatever kind of hips and legs you want. Mermaid fin, um, a bicycle, a unicycle, um, maybe, yeah, some cars, some truck legs, some tank treads. I think I'm gonna do that. So, Ever kind of legs and feet and hips you want to draw. And now, open up your monster. What did you create in collaboration? A coffee-headed teddy bear body on a tank? That's pretty terrifying. You should be proud of yourself. So your monsters are gonna look a bit different. Everybody has a different drawing style. That's completely natural. So what I want you to do now is pick your favorite monster out of all of the monsters you've created. You, different people can pick the same monster. That's totally cool. And I want you to grab a fresh sheet of paper and redraw your monster all in your style and maybe add something to it. Add some colors and definitely give it a name and maybe even list some of its superpowers like you did for yours. 
And at the end of the class, let's show it off. What kind of monsters have we created collaboratively? <laughs>